Hi, welcome back guys to another Steam free to play review. Today we have Warground that we're going to take a look at. So this is a turn-based strategy game that has six different factions. Well, not six different factions. It's like two different factions and each faction has like three hero characters that have their own units. And they have their own little backstory and their stats are listed. So, the stats seem pretty broken. I don't know if they did much balancing before they released this game. Because, like, how this guy has 15 HP and 20 shield. There's also a guy that has, like, 5 HP. And so he's pretty much insta-dead. I guess his plan would be more to, like, summon things from the back. I don't know if this game... Because I couldn't actually play, like, the multiplayer. I put forth a serious effort into playing the multiplayer. Like, I had... I waited for, like, 30 minutes straight tried to get my own buddies to get on the game and I just could not get it to work for me so yeah it seems like you have different kind of strategies you can do based on the unit it doesn't seem from the stat line to be too balanced even though the people with low HP have super high attack it looks like the fights would be super short because the map that I saw from the tutorial that I played was very small like you think it'd be bigger but the backstories in this game <laughs> seem to take like actual backstories from different like tribes in history like the Japani instead of the Japanese uh, and the they named Tokugawa Dokugawa they just kinda like took some history for these kinda like tribes like very base history and then changed like a letter in the name of the char important prominent figure or land that they're from so this was me asking everybody if anybody wanted to like help me make this review video and Wolf joined to be the hero we needed but didn't deserve <laughs> and mature language warning incoming what's up man not too much you want to help me out <laughs> <laughs> why it's free i have a mac it's you could probably play this on Steam. <laughs> Give it a try. Try it. I need somebody to find. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Man. I've been trying to find a match for 20 minutes now <laughs> in this fucking shit. Fine. Let's see. War I want to see if it'll even run on a Mac. Might. I don't know. If it does. Okay. Have high hopes. War grounds? Yeah. War ground. Yeah. Review. It's a turn based strategy that aims to be. Yeah, it's only Windows. God damn it. February 12th, we fixed match error. We fixed match They have fixed the match error. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is their update. Just, we fixed match error. We fixed matching errors on some computer on the slow internet. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm I don't, you need to get a fucking Windows computer. You're holding back the whole squad now with that fucking Mac bullshit. Goddamn. Oh, <laughs> God damn. No one wants to play with me anyways. We could have a riveting game of Wargrounds right now. It's just, nobody wants to play with you because you have a fucking Mac, that's why. Nobody wants to play with you because you got shitty How about that? Oh fuck, my internet sucks but it works. God, yours doesn't work. <laughs> fuck. Wargrounds yeah. just says, nobody wants to play this shit, I don't think. I don't think it's because my internet, I think it's because nobody wants to fucking play. Okay, so this is the only gameplay I actually got of the game from the tutorial. It looks beautiful, like the polygonal like graphics look super dope. But the map, like I said, is super it's so small. If you wanted to do any kind of like strategy with this kind of combat, I think it'd have to be a bigger map. I don't know if all the maps are like this or just the tutorial, but it's pretty rough. And 
it has like a neat little combat system. You got these action points that you use every turn, and you can summon things, and then you can attack. But there's not much room to. I guess you would stay back usually and summon things. I don't think even the tutorial shows you the right way to do this because if you run up, say that Viking dude, whoever hits the other person first is gonna win because he does 30 damage. I have three health and 15 shield, but I have 15 attack and he has five health. So as you can tell, that could be a problem. That's just basically whoever touches the leader first wins. But then if I summon soldiers, right? His soldiers would take longer to kill me than mine would to kill him because he has no armor health. So I just don't feel like the game would be very balanced at all. And then they give you points for how much territory surrounding you you take over to summon units. Which is kind of, it, it's a neat idea. But unfortunately it doesn't work. And it, you might be able to tell this here, but I was trying to summon a unit so bad and this game would not let me do it. I just started like frantically clicking because I was like, I want to get at least through the tutorial. You can't do this to me. I don't know if I just wasn't clicking in the right spots or what was going on, but it was not letting me summon the unit. Oh my gosh. And then... Yeah, so I didn't even really get any kind of like free movement kind of play of this game at all. This is all just a tutorial of it telling me what to do, and you have to do exactly what it tells you to do. And that's really disappointing. Also, this dude's grammar is like my grammar. Like, freaking awful. <laughs> I know that pain, though. I have terrible for grammar as well, so. Not as bad as Robotherium, though. I'm gonna bring that up in like every video about how bad Robotherium's grammar and everything was. That was awful. That was a bad game. Honestly, though, at least that was a game. This is not quite a game. I wish free-to-play creators realized that it until their game like picks up, until you give re people a reason to play it, they're not just gonna play it because it's multiplayer. You need to have like a story or a campaign or something that shows how fun the gameplay is. So they, they want to do multiplayer with it. This isn't like a big title where they have advertising stuff to show the gameplay and get people interested in the multiplayer before they even play it. This is something where you have to build your fan base by releasing a pretty good game. And then people will play the multiplayer. Because I think that's part of the reason why I couldn't find a match is because nobody plays this. <laughs> like, oh. Granted, I don't think it would have been like an amazing game, and I feel like it has a lot of flaws because of balancing and how they released it. But at the same time, it could have been something at least. It could have been a pretty decent game. If the campaign, I feel like if they made a campaign, they would have seen a lot of flaws like testing the game that with their balancing, and they could have fixed it before they released it for the multiplayer or patched it or something. But I just don't feel like you have a good model of play to figure out what's wrong with your game in the first place but thanks for watching as always i'm gonna give this game a one out of ten because it doesn't work kind of like the saint paul thing yeah so i'm gonna try to get back to release some review games i've been kind of slacking on it recently because i've been working on the lord of balfour story i've been writing but uh please like and subscribe if you haven't already bye